Hello and welcome to the Run Testers. My name's Nick. In this video, we're going to be comparing the New Balance Balos and the ASICS Super Blast 2. So the Super Blast and the Balos are both big budget plateless super shoes that sit in their brand's range alongside plated options like the SC Trainer V3 for New Balance and then the Magic Speed 3 or 4 actually, the Magic Speed 4 for the Asics Super Blast. They both cost £200 and $200 so like I say they're big budget shoes. They're both pretty lightweight though, they come in at almost exactly the same weight in my UK size 9. The Balos is 251 grams or 8.8 .8 ounces, Super Blast is 252 grams or 8.9 ounces. That's despite the fact the Super Blast has a much bigger stack height, it's 45mm at the heel and 37 at the forefoot for an 8mm drop, whereas the Balos is 38.5 at the heel, 32.5 at the forefoot for a 6mm drop. And looking at the design of the shoes, you've got a Fresh Foam X midsole on the Balos, which is a PIBA slash EVA blend in this shoe. Uh, New Balance uses the term Fresh Foam X for lots of shoes and the foam changes from shoe to shoe, but you've got a bouncy PIBA and EVA mix in this shoe. Also got a very big rocker on the shoe, as you can see, and a Creole mesh upper, pretty simple affair with a little bit of padding at the back and an internal heel counter, but not too much. It's a fairly light lightweight upper all round and then you've also got a quite a minimal outsole so you've got an EVA outsole and the bits in black are more durable firmer areas at the key points at the heel and toe off there but in general there's a bit of exposed foam and some slightly soft materials on the bottom of the shoe. With the ASIC Super Blast you've got a dual density midsole the uh, big top layer the bulk of the midsole is made from ASIC's FF Turbo Plus foam which is the uh, bouncy foam used in shoes like the Metaspeed Sky and Edge Paris racing shoes then you've got FF Blast Plus foam on the bottom of the shoe it's the eco version of the uh, FF Blast plus foam on here got a bit of a rocker going on but it's not quite as pronounced as the one on the balos then you've got an engineered mesh upper again pretty simple affair bit of padding at the back fairly thin tongue but nothing too notable about the upper a little bit of an internal heel counter as well and side walls of foam on the shoe to add some stability and then you have an ahar plus rubber outsole as with the balos the coverage is quite sparing but you've got rubber sections throughout the shoe especially around the heel and forefoot Okie dokie, I'm joined here by noted friend Tom. Um, Tom, what do you think of the fit of these two shoes? Uh, well, I've only got one of them here because uh, Mike's still got my Super Blast <laughs> shoes. <laughs> a... um, Mike's got two pairs now. I know, yeah, he keeps saying he'll give me back, but I've not seen any evidence of this. Um, That's a really rare colourway as he's nicked off you as well. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's not giving that back. <laughs> not a chance. Uh, okay, so it, the Balos... Um, I'm a size 8 in the UK. I found it to be fine. What I would say is it's a somewhat shallow shoe in the forefoot. Um, not a problem. Not a problem. I've done some quite long runs in this shoe and uh, it's been absolutely fine. But I can see that some people might notice that and maybe want to size up half a size. But I would I would probably say for most people, stick to your size in the Balos. The Super Blast 2, absolutely fine for me. I find it a very comfortable shoe. No issues. I think it's quite relatively roomy um, and I didn't have any problems with it. Yeah, so they are it's the one of these ones where it's slightly different sizes with the different brands. New Balance uh, and UK9 I've got is a US 9.5 and ASICS it's a, a US 10, but they both fit me perfectly well in that UK9. I definitely, I would agree that it's, yeah, it's a low volume toe box in the Balos, but it's not as cramped. Sometimes New Balance go a bit nuts and it's just really short their shoes. That's not the case with the Balos. I think the length is actually right. It's just the height necessarily might feel a bit cramped if you have big toes. That said, I have toes that kind of stack on each other a little bit and I had no problems with it. So yeah, I was very happy with the fit in my normal size with both shoes that the size i have pretty much across both of these brands ranges no concerns with the heel or anything like that so i would stick to normal sizing on to the run test uh, i was talking recently about what a great year it's been for running shoes and these are two of the shoes mm. that are the reason it's been such a great year they're fantastic shoes and i think i'll probably say that now because we're going to talk about differences and say things are better at each different things but they're both pretty great shoes all around right tom i these two shoes are I mean, we're not even at verdict yet but these two shoes are two, two <laughs> shoes that i was so excited about getting hold of i mean you know you know i was talking about the balos oh, you would we, not stop talking about the balos <laughs> so, yeah since we got one uh, since we got a picture of it uh, years ago um, where, where did the pictures come out? Start of the year. I don't know. You were digging them out, you know, from corners of the internet. I just saw a picture of it, and I read a little bit about it having uh, it basically being like, uh, you know, like uh, a New Balance um, 1080 V13, but with a really bouncy foam in it, and that that excited me. That that got me going. Um, so yeah, both of these shoes are shoes that uh, I 
was very excited about because I like soft cushion shoes, even for faster sessions. Um, I like shoes that have a nice bit of bounce in them. Uh, the, Super, the Super Blast 1 is was one of my favourite shoes of all time. Super Blast 2 did not disappoint for me. It's a shoe that delivers on what the Super Blast 1 did and slightly improves on it for me with the new tweaked midsole foam. Um, the Balos, I love the Balos. It's like my perfect shoe, basically. It's, it's soft, but it's bouncy, it's comfortable. You can take it out for an easy run and it's absolutely fantastic. I've I've even done track sessions in this shoe and I, I found it to be fine. I think we spoke about this and for you, it's just a little bit too soft or there's not, not enough in it for your track sessions. But for me, at the pace that I run my track sessions, which floats around three minute, 50 kilometers, loved it. I thought it was very comfortable, just boun- bouncing around the track, enjoying myself, smile on my face. Um, so yeah, both, both I, I like both of these shoes. I do think they're slightly different though in what they deliver i think super blast is a much better shoe for um i'd say if i was marathon training and i wanted a shoe to really hit those tempo paces to do my marathon paces at uh, i would go for the super blast 2 over the balos balos probably more for a comfortable pace but just a fun enjoyable comfortable pace but um i i really enjoy both of these shoes very fun shoes uh you're not wrong about that tom i've also gone down yeah i could say down the track in the balos and you balance yeah i do think they are both very good generalist shoes different feel the balos is a lot softer to me for sure and but it's not a softness that just gives way underneath you it does bounce back it's got a, no, a load of bounce and i thought when i pulled it on i went for a run this is amazing but i just don't think this feeling is going to last but i've done long runs in the shoe and it does feel bouncy throughout them pulled it on really early one morning for a 10 mile i had to get done and it was wet cold outside i need to get the run done and it was a shoe that actually cheered me up and got me out there to do a hilly 10 miles and yeah i really do like it all round i think it has a few limitations for me compared to the Super Blast, but I do think it's more comfortable and more fun at easy paces than the Super Blast, which is quite a stiff shoe and it's good for easy paces, but I think some people won't like the stiffness you have in it. It feels a bit firmer. It's bouncy, but not in the way you sink in and bounce with the Balos. It's more just responsive and it's got a little bit of sink in, but it's got that, yeah, that stiffer, bouncy feeling, but it's got a bit more to it for fast stuff, I think, and more like sustained fast stuff. So with the Balos on the track, like I was doing 1K reps, I was doing about 330K pace, I think, and it was good. I could run the reps in them, but I felt basically at the end of doing two or three reps in a row in the shoe, it just felt like it had got a little bit soft under the foot and it wasn't bouncing back in the same way it had. And I just feel like if I was looking at sustained speed efforts in the shoe, it wouldn't be something I'd enjoy so much in the ballast because I prefer a more resilient, firmer feeling under foot. And that's what the Super Blast gives you. Like it's going to feel the same at the end of a long run, running really hard as it does at the start because it's a big wedge of foam. It doesn't compress that much. It's a fair bit higher the stack than the ballast. And I think you'd feel that at the end of that run. But if you are sticking to easy paces, I think the ballast is more fun to run around than the Super Blast. It's nimbler, it's bouncier, it's softer. The rocker is really pronounced, but I don't know, I didn't feel like it was exaggerated on the run. It looks like it's going to feel really weird, but it doesn't. It just feels quite smooth to me. And I think you are the same time. We land in different places and have different styles, but it doesn't feel weird underfoot, right? Um, yeah, I mean, the, the, the rocker, I, yeah, I, di- I didn't really notice it massively. I don't think it had a massive impact on it. For, for me, it, the, we're talking about the Balos there, aren't we? Yeah, so the Balos... I, I what I notice most about the Balos is the bounce. I don't notice the rocker that much. The Super Blast doesn't have as pronounced a rocker, but I do feel it more of a smooth transition um, from that rocker as opposed to a bounce from the foam. So I think that's a, that's a good distinction between the two. Yeah, and I think they do operate in slightly different areas as well. Like both are really versatile for sure. You can do. I've done a bit of everything in both of these shoes, but. If I was going to go and do 15 miles pure easy or just pretty relaxed, I'd do it, prefer to do it in the Ballos. But at the weekend, I went and did, I think I did like 19 miles easy to steady. And I was doing that in the Brooks Glycerin. And by the end, I was thinking, this is the run I definitely want the Super Blast for. Because as you move through to slightly faster speeds at the end, it's retained all of its bounce, its responsiveness the whole run. And it would feel really good at those. Whereas I'd worry that the Ballos might not feel quite as fun at the end of a run. And as you've got a bit more foam and a bit more of a responsive foam in the Super Blast for those faster efforts. But just, yeah, really good shoes. But then if I'm going to go out and do five miles easy, Balos, if I'm going to go run on the track, Super Blast, yeah, I think they actually do slightly different things whilst also doing all of the same things. On to the verdicts then, Tom. I mean, a lot of people's verdict will be I'm not buying either of these shoes. They're £200, but uh, they're both really good shoes. Which would you buy? God, this is really, really difficult. If I had to choose t- between these two shoes, because it's not like I'd, I don't necessarily wouldn't buy them for the, exactly the same reasons. So... I want both of them, basically. I don't, I don't want to give either of them up. Uh, I think if it came to it, based on my style of running, the majority of runs that I 
I, I do within a marathon block, which is generally easier sessions, I think I'm going to go for the Balos just because I think I'd use it a lot more and I think I'd get a lot more benefit out of it. I love the Super Blast, um, Super Blast 2, but I think that for me, the Balos just hits my style of running more and I, I just... I want to pick it up more than Super Blast 2 based on the type of runs that I do. Yeah, it's an interesting one. So I think I think the Super Blast is the all-round like better shoe, more effective shoe, the shoe that you know, will serve lots of people well. If you're looking for one shoe to do it all, like get the Super Blast. I think if you're looking for yeah, long runs and hard long runs and stuff like that, Super Blast is a bit better. I just think for the kind of runs where the Super Blast is a lot is better than the Balos, I think is you know improve it performs better. It's probably the kind of runs that I will use a plated trainer myself. So I wouldn't necessarily pick the Super Blast for my own rotation because. Yeah, when it comes to those hard long runs, you know, long tempo efforts, long reps on the track, I'd probably use something like the Hoka Mac X2, Socony Endorphin Speed 4. Like, I like a plated shoe for that. I like a slightly smaller shoe than the Super Blast. The runs it really excels at, those long demanding runs, it's one of the best shoes on the market for, but I don't know if I do enough of them that I'd pick this up in addition to a plated shoe. So the Ballast might be the one I'd probably end up having in my rotation itself because it is such a great easy day shoe, long run shoe, but yeah to that point it's like oh, do i want to pay that much money just for that kind of relaxed run shoe so yeah, i'd probably give the overall verdict to the super Blast. i don't think i think it has as a benefit i think it's going to hold up a bit better than the ballast because it's got a really soft midsole it's got quite a lot of exposed foam or softer outsole foam on it compared to the super blast so i think if you are looking at a 200 pound shoe you obviously are thinking about durability a little bit i think the super blast will probably do a little bit better on that and i think it's the one i'd recommend to more people i think it's a slightly better shoe but yeah, my own rotation. I don't know. I don't know which way I'd go. I'd, I'd love to have both, but it really is a luxury at that point. <laughs> yeah, we, we had a lot of comments on, um, uh, can't remember, I think it was the Balos, where, the video where we people were talking about they couldn't get hold of the Super Blast yeah. 2. So they were buying the Balos because it was available. But when I saw that, I was thinking, it's not, you're not get, quite getting the same shoe there. It's not It's not like for like. Um, I mean, it's a great shoe, but if you really want the Super Blast 2 and you want what it does, yeah, you're probably going to be a bit disappointed in the balance. There's not really anything I think that does quite what the Super Blast 2 does, unless you're looking at plated shoes. The only other thing to say yeah. is, Tom and I are probably quite similar in weight, I think. I would wonder what the balance is like if you're a heavier runner, because it is very soft yeah. and it's not the biggest stack. And I think the Super Blast is going to have that more resilient feeling underfoot, so it might give you an edge there. So, yeah, I think there's lots of reasons to look at the Super Blast, but the balance is an experience for sure. But I'd probably lean towards Super Blast overall.